Hey everybody. Well, this video is probably, um, I'm not gonna hopefully make it too long. Um, I just, uh, I've been meaning to do this video um, for a couple weeks now, but um, time's just gotten away from me. And um, so hopefully it won't be too long, but I kinda wanna do a little video of my current, some of my current favorite um, things that I am using uh, right now. And so um, I hope everybody's been doing well and surviving these spring storms and everything. It's been pretty crazy and I think we're supposed to get more rain, I think this evening or tomorrow. So I'm trying to make sure some of my plants don't drown. It's been crazy trying to get the flower bed going and, and some other potted plants that I put. Anyway, so that'll be another video once the flower bed starts um, really looking good and some stuff from last year is actually coming back. Um, and so take note though, this makeup job here is from um, leftover from all day. Uh, touched up a little powder and a little bit of fresh lipstick, but that's about it. So uh, I won't do any extreme close-ups. Anyway, um, so some of my favorite things um, right now um, would have to be let's start um, let's start with I guess uh, taking all this off cleansing our face you know I use basic uh, makeup wipes like the um, Walmart brand that's supposed to be like Neutrogena um, just to get the the beginnings you know get a good amount of the makeup off first and here lately, uh, because I uh, went to Ulta and I was asking specifically for um, a good face cleaner um, to, uh, I have very oily skin, primarily in my T-zone. It gets, you know, really oily and I look like a cakey mess. Still trying to find you know, and do the best combination of moisturizers and foundation and everything. And um, I'm thinking about trying the Maybelline, I think it's called Fit. Uh, foundation um, and uh, so if anybody has tried the Maybelline fit uh, if you want to let me know what you think about it below um, and uh, let me know what kind of skin type you have and uh, what kind of results you had with that foundation currently for the most part um, well, let's stick with the cleaning first <laughs> don't get ahead of myself uh, so um, this is by Bliss, and it is a foaming cleanser with a very light exfoliant. Nothing too harsh, um, so it can be used daily, which um, I have been using it daily. You can see it's about, oh, right there. And a little goes a really long way, so it, it uh, I believe the, I believe at Ulta I paid around 12 dollars for this I believe I did uh, glance and uh, just by happen I don't usually go to Target but um, I saw the bliss products at Target and I think it was at least a dollar or two cheaper at Target um, so I may the next time want to uh, check into this or more of the bliss products I'll probably take a look at Target um, first instead of Ulta so I really I really really like this um, foaming face wash. It just foams a little bit. It's not like some crazy foaming. Um, and it's got a light exfoliant. Now for weekly, sometimes weekly, um, for a heavy exfoliant, uh, I really like the Freeman. Uh, and you can get this at Walmart. Um, it is the uh, Polishing Charcoal and Black Sugar Gel Mask and Scrub. So this I really like to use maybe like once a week for a really deep, uh, heavy exfoliant um, and I typically do it in the shower so I can really get it um, good all over my face and um, do a heavy exfoliant so this is really good really like that um, when washing my face and I just bought me some new ones so this one is really clean and really new and fresh because it's brilliant brand new um, a friend of mine gave me one and I really love it it's these uh, washcloths and they're called um, Erase Your Face. And these are so good at helping get all your makeup off. Um, and they're soft and um, 
just really neat and you can almost use them without any soap if you had to just water um, to take off your makeup um, they're really cool I found we found um, a pack of four for $9.99 at um, Bed Bath & Beyond um, I'm sure I believe you can get them on Amazon too I don't know what the price is on Amazon but they're called erase your face <laughs> and um, and everything and so really really cool um, washcloth specifically to wash your your face you know and they're really soft and delicate uh, for your uh, to be used around your delicate skin too so I really love those and uh, and along with cleaning and exfoliating exfoliating <laughs> uh, I haven't uh, really tried any other lip scrubs so I don't have anything to compare it to but as you all know I love the Jeffree Star products and so I do have one of Jeffree's um, lip scrubs that I got a, a few weeks ago I didn't want anything that was too sweet or any you know um, I wanted something more fresh and everything so this is I believe the spearmint um, yes this is the spearmint lip scrub looks like this um, and it's all you know vegan cruelty free and everything and he even says you can it's okay if you accidentally eat some of this so um, I mean it really is a good uh, lip scrub exfoli uh, so it works really well it's just I don't have anything to compare it to this is my first time of trying a lip scrub so um, I like it and I think this don't get me wrong ugh, I didn't price a lot of this stuff before I started this video I think this is $12 uh, for this lip scrub a little goes a long way on this too another um, on the lines of cleaning this would be for cleaning your makeup brushes now I do have a whole um, thing with a bowl and water and the soap that goes in it and a little tool that spins the brushes around in the water and everything for when uh, you know to do, get all your brushes and like spend some time really cleaning them but I tried this and I really because um, when uh, Scott took me uh, to a little trip to the Morphe store I saw this and I thought well, I'm gonna try it and it is um, the Morphe uh, brush cleansing balm and so inside you have um, a little scrubber uh, too and it's got a little plastic tray where it's separate keeps it separate from the balm so you can tell that I've used it and then um, here's the balm so basically all you do is you're gonna get your brushes wet and then swish it around in on here to get some of the balm on your brush and then scrub it with this little pad and I'm telling you for a quick uh, cleansing of your brushes and then let your brushes dry um, really really works really works good uh, rinse out the brush and all the stuff and so uh, this really works good and this one is the eucalyptus chill in a light fragrance no big deal fragrance on cleansing your brushes so um y'all know like I said that I love Jeffree Star's products and when the blue blood palette came out um, it sold like hotcakes and I really wanted when that collection came out I thought you know I want to have in my collection of Jeffree Star products I really want to have one of his mirrors just for fun you know and I can check the back of my hair and then my mirror and everything but so the uh, he had right before the blue blood palette came out that collection he had uh, had a, a new pink one out in a kind of a chrome looking finish and then in the blue blood collection he had a blue chrome uh, a blue chrome finish and it sold out like hotcakes but BAM finally got my Jeffree Star mirror and um, you can see the mirror um, finally got my Jeffree Star mirror in the blue chrome finish. Love it. You know, gotta have some fun. You know, life's too short. Have fun. Buy the mirror.
by the makeup. So, uh, <clears throat> another thing that I tried recently with um, watching some beauty gurus, you know, and all those things uh, on YouTube and stuff, was they uh, several of them talk about using a MAC um, paint pot as an eye shadow primer, as a primer for eyeshadow. Well, these little things are $22. But I splurged um, a few weeks ago and I got the color, the painterly, the color painterly paint pot to use as my eyeshadow primer. Does it work? Yes, I do believe it works. I believe it's, it's really good as an eyeshadow primer. Uh, do I think I need it uh, to, um, when this runs out? Do I think I need to buy me another one? No. Because, to tell you the honest truth, I got this in a kit a while, probably a, long, a while back. It's a, by Ulta. It's just the Ulta Nude Matte Eyeshadow Primer. And for my skin and everything, I think this works just as well. If not, it gives that a run for its money. And this, I don't even know how much this costs because it came in a little kit that I got. So I know it can't be very expensive. It's, and it's by Ulta and it's just a little eyeshadow primer. So do I really think that the average person needs a MAC paint pot? to use as an eyeshadow primer. Probably not. $22? I don't think so. So, um, I uh, won't be replacing that. I do um, also recently got, haha, I got the Jeffree Star powder, face powder, uh, setting powder, and the concealer. Now, of course, I'm always trying to find good products for the mature skin, my mature skin, my oily skin. And I will say that um, I don't use a lot of primer. I don't bake like the young people do and everything because the more layers you put on, then the more the oil has to mix with and just gets cakey and yucky. So for my mature skin with oil t-zone and the fine lines and wrinkles and everything um even though i like full coverage i don't need a lot of layers so when i don't bring my um foundation all the way up under my eyes usually i do use a little concealer up under my eyes and maybe a few little places and i will say the jeffree star concealer is awesome and so is the setting powder. Uh, the setting powder is just very light. It's very, very finely milled. Um, so it's just a very light, you can put it on just so, just a light amount and it really sets um, your foundation and your concealer very well without adding, you know, this heavy layer. Now I do still love my Cody Airspun um, powder, um, you know, the old school uh, powder, but I will say that I really do like the Jeffree Star and the concealer is awesome. Okay, so the concealer, the applicator has a little extra hole in the doe foot. It holds extra of the concealer itself and a little goes a long way again with his uh, products. Um, the concealer and the p uh, powder are $22 a piece. So I would say, you know, yeah, it's a little on the high end. Um, I can't remember what sh sh uh, Tarte's Shape Tape Concealer that everybody was crazy about, and I do have one. I can't remember if it, what how much it was. Y'all correct me, I think it was more close to $27. I do think there's more product in there, but, and I'm sorry I don't have all the numbers. If you really want to know more details just leave me a comment and I'll be happy to look it up or or whatever you may know but it really is a good concealer um, guys it really is and the powder um, the powder has a really 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 light uh, fragrance of um, cotton candy when you first open it and um, but the fragrance does not linger um, 
because a lot of people don't like fragrances in their uh, some of the, in their products. And um, I mean, it's nice when you first open it and smell it and everything. Um, but as you wear it, you know, put it on a couple minutes later, the smell is gone, so it's nice. Um, but it is a very finely, you've got this, um, it closes too for, so you can travel with it really easy where it won't, you know, make a mess. So it's really, um, it's a really nice face powder, a really nice setting powder. So, um, a packaging's cool. It's not really that, um, I would say luxurious packaging. It is basically just a heavy plastic, um, but it still is uh, very cool with the Jeffree Star logo embossed, uh, raised up on the top of the lid and this shiny pink metallic looking color. Um, as you can tell, I've been using it. It's a little dusty <laughs> with powder and stuff, but I've got the Fair um, and uh, I really, so I really like the concealer and the powder. Now, Jeffree Star, just now in foundations, let me go back to foundations. I have been wearing um, my uh, Urban Decay All Nighter um, a little more frequently, but also I've uh, given the new e.l.f. Uh, a try, um, the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. It's one of their newer ones. It's only $6. Um, there's uh, a little over half an ounce, um, and but it's only six dollars. I got I'm the shade natural, and um, I really like it. Um, like I said, pretty much with all my foundations, by the end of the day, I'm looking a little oily and stuff. Um, but this is an oil free satin finish. And I do like this one. So, um, if you're wanting to find something a little cheaper, give it and uh, give it a try. Um, I would recommend giving the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation a try. Now, Jeffrey Star just released his lip gloss um, collection. His new a new product last week. Um, here lately, I've been ordering through the website, the site called Beauty, uh, Beautylish. Um, you can get Jeffree Star products through Beautylish. You can get a whole array of um, different products and um, companies through them. And so it ships a little faster. You can spend less to get free shipping than Jeffree's own website. But Jeffree did add where you can make payments onto his website last week, too. So... Um, that's new. So I ordered, when the lip glosses came out last week, yes, I got on Beautylish, and I ordered me, uh, just one to try for now. Um, I don't wear a lot of lip gloss. You know I like Jeffree's, um, matte liquid lip. It dries matte. Um, but, uh, you know, could be fun to add some gloss on top of those or some other lipsticks. So I did order myself. Uh, one of the new lip glosses. Okay, so the packaging. Just the gloss. He said that these were so awesome that um, just gonna name it the gloss. So here's the packaging for the gloss. And I got the shade Wet Peach. That is very pretty. And here's the top. The top resembles the tops of his lip liners. Um, so that's really cool. It's got a logo on it. So that is really pretty. He's got two um, finishes with the lip gloss. One is Glitter Fantasy and the other is Extreme Shine. The Wet Peach is in the uh, series of the Glitter Fantasy. As you can see, it has quite a bit of glitter look to it. I've been told that, or in reviews that this is not a sticky lip gloss. It doesn't, you know, cake up and all that. Um, I ordered two things. So I have yet to try Jeffrey's regular lipstick. He calls it lip ammunition. That's why it looks kind of like a bullet. 
And this one is in the shade Celebrity Skin, which is kind of a mauve nude color. So I'm going to, I already have lipstick on right now, so I'm not gonna try that. But so I'm anxious to try one of his just regular lipsticks, not a liquid matte. Da, 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 da. I know the lighting is gonna be terrible by going over here, but just for a second. Hold the phone. Okay. Pretty? The oh. Hmm. That almost smells faintly like, I don't know, almost like cake or something. I'm not sure. But let's put a little bit on, on top. Ah, of this lipstick that I got on. It said it could be worn. Mm. Nobody wants to see me all close up with lipstick or by itself. Okay, I will say it goes on and it does not feel thick or sticky in the beginning. You know how some glosses though, so we'll give it a minute and finish what I'm saying and I'll let you know. So far, that's pretty. Don't have my readers on though, so me seeing myself close up. Ugh. I swear, getting old. I wear my contacts so I can see far away. I've done that all my life. And now as I get older, I gotta have readers to, to see close up. It's just crazy. Anyway, so um, that's a few of my favorite things right now. And um, like, uh, yeah, most of them are Jeffree Star, but hey, I like Jeffree Star products and I'm gonna tell you that that's just what I like. Um, I do like the um, Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette too. That's a really cool eyeshadow palette. Um, I really like this lip gloss. Feels good. It's not sticky or, or make it stringy, you know, and all that. Okay. So, um, tonight, wash off your makeup. Bliss. You might want to try some Bliss products. And, um, so anyway, if you have tried any of these products, um, if you have some that you really love, uh, you have maybe you have oily combination skin, you have some um, recommendations for me or things you think I should try, um, especially when it comes to foundation and moisturizers. My regular moisturizer go-to go is Oil of Olay, just to moisturize. I do try a lot of different things that come in my Allure box or that came in my Ipsy bag. I've stopped Ipsy for a while, but I'm still getting my Allure box. So I've tried, you know, different little things, but my every morning go-to is the Oil of Olay. So if you have any recommendations or suggestions um, on that or things that you've tried, if you've tried the Maybelline Fit, I think that's what it's called, uh, foundation, let me know that too, because I think I'm going to try that one. Um, you know, a little more reasonably priced than $40 for Urban Decay. So, or 43 for Makeup Forever. So anyway, um, yeah. So um, I guess that's it for now. Uh, Scott's gonna be home soon. Got to decide what we're gonna do for dinner. And that's a dose of me.